So Pixel OS is here for the users who are looking forward to Android 16, QPR 1, having all the Pixel goodies and so on. Pixel OS is here for you. It is already here from some time now, but it is now updated to the latest version, latest security patch, which is December 2025. You can give it a try on your devices in case you want to. As it is Pixel OS having all the Pixel goodies, which simply means it has Pixel Launcher pre-installed. The quick settings panel is same, which you are getting the stock Android. If you are talking about Google Pixel devices, it's kind of similar to that. We have circle to search working, new recent panel and so on. Nothing much to talk about because it's kind of stock. It does not have any extra features or customizations. Even if you move on to settings UI, it's kind of similar, which you get by default. So for the users who are looking to a stock pixel experience, near to stock pixel experience on a custom ROM, one of the options available here for you. It does not have the option to support clone apps. So if you're looking forward to that feature, unfortunately, it's not here. So you will miss that if you use that feature much. Sound and vibration. If you use Pixel OS previously, if you have used Pixel OS previously, we had a different sound and vibration settings. But in this case, stock Android. Also, it has in-call vibration options that is really useful, quite underrated, but it's here. If you move on to clock and style, basically wallpapers and style customizations. We have a new wallpaper and style UI. If you see, if you compare it with the normal Android 16 or if you compare it with the previous Android 15 UI, so different UI. The default clock, I personally love to customize that. That's one of the best features I found in the latest Android 16 QPR. It's based on QPR 1, by the way, and QPR 2 is already here. A lot of custom homes might come very, very soon. Maybe some of them will focus on QPR 1. Some of them will focus on QPR 2. If you want to know more about what is the major difference between QPR 1 custom ROMs or QPR 2, I'll make a video very, very surely, very soon, uh, whenever the new custom ROM will come based on QPR 2, although we had one, uh, but that's not kind of stable, so I don't think it makes sense to compare that. Other than else, like if you move on to security and privacy options, private space is already here, and everything else is just kind of similar. You will see one more thing. We have this scramble layout feature available. Scramble layout is one of the most underrated feature in security and privacy settings. So it simply scramble the pin layout whenever you unlock your device. Uh, that that feels good, that looks good, that works good, it's good. Other than else, if we move on to security and privacy options, we will also see the ignore window secure flags. That's also one of the most useful things. It is here and you have to enable this thing by moving into more security and privacy options. Gestures kind of similar. We do not have anything unique in this case. As compared to Lineage OS, it does have the support for swipe to screenshot. That's useful. I personally use it a lot. Everything else is just kind of similar. So if you want to give it a try, it's available only for only for the few devices officially I'm talking about, but unofficially available for many. So if you want to give it a try, you can check out XTA Telegram channel if your device has support for this one. So this is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.